Hi, this is Trey Patcher. As promised, another vlog this morning. I reviewed, I watched this yesterday. Uh, Batman: Return of the Cape Crusaders. Of course, this is based on the '60s television show starring Adam West and Bart Ward. And you know, I'm a big fan of this show. I have the uh, collection that came out on Blu-ray a few years ago. I loved this show growing up, watching it all the time. I loved the the campiness of it. Of course, you know, the, you know, as a kid, you don't, you don't, you know. I collected comic books, so I knew a serious Batman. But the TV show, I just loved. It because of Adam West corny acting and and the Biff Pow Bam and the great villains having the old movie stars from old Hollywood play all the villains in, in this show which is great the voiceover actor who who's had the same bat time same bat channel and all the bat gadgets and all that I I'm a big I have to admit I'm a big fan of that show so when I saw the trailer for this was coming out I just just brought a smile to my face and just you know I had to see this. So I'm glad I picked this up. Anyway, basically, this is uh, this stars you know Adam West and Burt Ward, who played the original roles on TV. They do the voices, you know, Batman and Robin respectively. And then you also have uh, Lee, um, excuse me, Julie Newmar, who played Catwoman. She's in this as well. She does the voice of Catwoman, of course. And then uh, you also in this movie you have Catwoman, the Joker, the Penguin, and the Riddler. They team up, and Batman and Robin have to stop them. And <laughs> Uh, I have to say that the actors they got to do the voices of, you know, besides, you know, Catwoman, of course, played by original Catwoman, who did the Joker, I thought he, uh, Joker and the, uh, especially Joker and the Riddler, I thought the actor, actors they got to do those two characters were really spot on. They kind of, they really did remind me of Cesar Romero and Frank Gorshin. They really did. And it has so many touches from the old TV series. Of course, you have Aunt Harriet in this. You have Alfred, of course. And you have Chief O'Hara, you have Commissioner Gordon in this, and it's just—I mean, it's basically like a, a nostalgia look back at, uh, you know, at the old TV show with all the death food by and and them getting into a death trap and having to get out, and and they throw a little twist in there too that I don't want to spoil in there. But this is basically a homage to the old TV show, and I I loved it. Okay, I have to say I loved all the nice little touches and stuff in this. Just really. Uh, there were a lot of like nods and winks to the old TV show that I absolutely loved, so it just just it just brought a big smile on my face. The only negative to me is the art wasn't that fantastic, wasn't that great. You know, it was okay. I think art could have been, you know, the animation could have been better, but it was okay for what it is. But this, in terms of just the nostalgia factor, to me, just just made me really truly enjoy this movie, and uh, I just highly recommend it. Just it was really just, it just brought a smile on my face, brought back all the old memories from watching this TV show as a kid. And I enjoyed it. Again, you guys said you got Adam West and Burt Ward reprising their roles, and I thought they did a great job. <laughs> all the holy this and the holy that, and, and you, know, you know, Adam West doing his uh, typical uh, Batman voice, which <laughs> I, I loved it. I have to say, I, I loved all the old notch to the old TV show, and I really enjoyed it. Animation aside, which I thought could have been better, but I enjoyed it a lot. So I'm going to give Batman Return of the Cake Crusaders. I'm going to give it a 7.8. Okay? I'm going to give it a 7.8. If the animation would have been better, I would have probably given it an 8. Okay? But I'm going to give it a 7.8. Okay? Uh, again, a lot of this is nostalgic for me, and I love all the nods to the old TV show and stuff. And like I said, there's a few twists in there that I don't want to spoil and stuff, but Overall, I just enjoyed all the, and if you're a big fan of the, t the Batman TV show in this, from the 60s, you, you're, it's going to bring a smile to your face. That's, that's all I can say. So again, I'm going to give it a 7.8. Okay, I really enjoyed it. And I would love if they do a sequel to this. I would, I would be up for another, ver another round of this with the same characters. I would, I would definitely be up for that. Okay, so again, 7.8 for me. Anyway, let me know what you think of Batman Return of Cape Crusaders. If you liked this review, please hit the subscribe button down below. And let me know what you think. Feel free to leave comments down below. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.